Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with our Bowman Baseball Mixer. This is a brand new release, 2020 Bowman Baseball. We're doing four jumbos, half of a jumbo case, and six hobbies, half of a hobby case. You see on the Nick cam right there that he's going to open up the hobby case and display the boxes and we'll roll the die. We'll select and roll a die and see which half we're going to do. And we'll do the same thing with the jumbo case too. But while he's opening up those cases, let's go back to this list right here. We got to see who's going to win the Yankees. So whether you won it or whether you bought it, everyone has a shot in this break at the Yankees. So let's take out that little spot right there. All right, let's roll it and randomize it. Five and a one, six times. One, two, three, four, five, and a one. Sixth and final time. After six times, name on top. Good luck, everybody. Name on top with the Yankees. Ooh, Mike McCarthy. Ooh. All right, Mike. Congrats to you. You have won the Yankees. So you get that little rooftop symbol next to your name. Let's print. And then let's select. All right, so I like that die right there. Should we do, what are we doing first? Jumbo. So that's the, you can see the jumbo cases right there. Front. One, two, three for this side, four, five, six for that side. So one, two, three, right, four, five, six, left. Yeah, or left. Yeah. They're there. left. Yeah, okay. One, two, three, four, yeah. five, six. Right. Oh, four. It's four right there. So we're doing that side. So this side's out. So that side will be for break two. Mixer two on there. Same thing right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. So it'll be that right there. And this we're gonna write. We'll write mixer two on there and we'll try not to mix up the stacks. First one? You rolled a four? So it would be was that side. Did I take that side? Now you got me all thinking. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's, just, it's, just, yeah, it's randomized. It's going to be one way or the other. All right. Um, okay. So there's the final printout right there. Ten box mixer, jumbo and hobby mixer. Hobby first. We're going to do hobby first. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Really appreciate it. Get started with a hobby stack. So just one auto per box and hobby, right, traditionally? And then what, we have other parallels? Yeah, you can't find, you can find oranges and hobby only. Not or, yeah, so the oranges and hobby only, so just like in previous years. Uh, a couple other public service announcements while I'm doing this. We're only, paper doesn't ship at all, except for Jason Dominguez, Yankees, Bobby Witt Jr., Royals, and uh, Robert Pawson, A's. So those are the only three players where their paper cards will ship. No one else will. Just just the way it is. I think those paper are being donated anyway to a good cause. Uh, all chrome, obviously, will ship. Other public service announcement. Um, so since these are all half case breaks, one and two are always from the same case. Three and four will be from the same case. Five and six breaks. Five and six will be from the same case. So in, in the instance that, like, let's say six sells out before five, that's a fresh case. And then five would just be the second half of the case. I think that, I think that makes sense. So a lot, lot of Bowman on the site, ladies and gentlemen. And we do need to move a couple uh, mini breaks to unlock even more Bowman. As soon as a couple mini breaks fill, all of a sudden we'll have four Bowman breaks in a row. So... Go get those filler breaks, ladies and gentlemen, the mini breaks. The pack of jumbo. Okay, we did the 
didn't get it right. Oh, did you rewatch the video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I figured someone would have said something no, in the chat didn't. if like we mixed, got, grabbed the wrong boxes. No, we got it. Everyone was, everyone was mum, so. All right. Is that Gortoral that you hit a zebra up on the Twins now? Because no, he's on the A's. Or uh, Dodgers. It's, it's Dodgers like, edition. He's twins on that. Oh, he's Twins and Bowman? So what team does he currently play for? Dodgers, Dodgers yeah. So Bowman's wrong. Uh, yeah, Bowman is wrong. There's Robert Poss and Chrome. Dylan Cease, blue at a 150. Where's my paper? Where's my paper pile? Chrome pile. All right, I got to make sure I get all that right. We're sorting out the paper as we go. All right. There's Dylan Cease to 150. There's Robert Poss and Chrome for Chad Wright and the A's. Uh, you are correct, Jack. I see you with the Dodgers. Did I see the two hour long police chase that happened in LA today? No. I, I wish I did. There's Desan Brown, Atomic to 150 for the Blue Jays. That'll be for JC. And there's our first Jason Dominguez paper. That guy's pretty. That guy's pretty good. Casey Mize to two fifty, and there's my guy right here, Gavin Lux. That old Bowman design. His name is Robert Pawson. His name is Robert Pawson. That's how you say it? <laughs> it's a fight club, right? Have you ever seen no, fight club? I'm saying that's how you say I think it's Pawson, yeah. Even though the U and the A are reversed? I, Pawson? Yeah, I don't think it's Pawson. I'm just, I'm just saying Pawson. There's Jason Dominguez. I like these. What, what's this set called? I don't know, but I like it. There's like the, the international flavor to it right there. I think it's pretty cool. Well, in the movie, it's Paulson, but in this, you've never seen Fight Club? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. That's that's definitely got to be on the list. Is that our first autograph? It is. Chris Valimont, 149 out of 250. Twins. That goes to Jordan Cohen. All chrome ships. Oh, spanning the globe. That's what it says. Okay, I couldn't read those words back there, Rick. Thank you. Not only do all chrome first ship, Jack, all chrome ships. Earthing. People were asking. No 
More jumbo PYTs maybe tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. Depending on how many we sell tonight. Keep your eye on the website. Jason said he's coming in tomorrow at 10. Whoa. There you go. His name is Robert Pawson. There it is. Paper. A's. Chad Wright. Um, no. We're not even close to that, I think. Jason Dominguez Chrome. So what are the what are our Jason Dominguez prices? What are the base going these for these days? Ladies and gentlemen, anyone have any? Yeah, I don't know. Paper's like thirty bucks. It's paper like thirty bucks. What about Chrome? Maybe double. I don't know. Maybe almost a hundred for. And what autos are going for like a zillion dollars? on a release date because we don't know what the prices are real. Right. I had a dream of pulling a Super Fractor two nights ago. Wow. You had a Super Fractor dream? Yeah, it was a Nick Stradamus. Wow, Nick Stradamus? And Woo. last time that happened in Japan, I pulled the Carlos Stradamus. Wow. Stradamus, who was on the cover of the box. Wow. Well, Here's another box. A second box. And a third box. All right. So when we started the break, ladies and gentlemen, I had nothing sold out. So I know there's probably things sold out by now. So if that's the case, we'll eventually go through orders and get it added to the schedule. So just keep that in mind. Currently, I have nothing on the schedule after this. I think select is supposed to come up after this. It's Glenn Allen Hill Jr. Yes, son of that Glenn Allen Hill, 499. Darren Redding saying, I realize that Jason Dominguez is 5'10", 190. Stout for a 17 year old, yeah. We got Ronnie Maurizio to 125. Hey, I, feel, videos, I feel like he's got like a. Oh, I'm doing the same video recaps. Okay. And I just write in the description and recap at the end. I think so. But yeah, Jason Mingus still has a little little bit of that baby fat on him. Ooh, next autograph is that speckle. Connor Cannon. To two ninety nine. I like that. Yeah, a little thick. A little thick on Jason Dominguez. Still young though, still has time to shed that baby fat. So if he's this good now, imagine when he when he, when he when he's when he's got man body. Uh, this is for the Giants. That's gonna go to Michael Tran. There you go, Mike. Three out of five. Hidden finds. Jordan. Balazovic. Nice. My first Bowman train whistle going to Jordan Cohen and the Twins. There you go, Jordan. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Separate the paper as we go along here. That's what Mary filled. Gonna get into a little bit of a groove here.
Let's see if we can find some more of the big names or maybe another nice parallel. We found the auto already. Another Robert going to Chad Wright. Here's our first Bobby Witt Jr. paper for Matthew Shearer and the Royals. Nice. The number two overall pick was not in Bowman draft. So this is his first, uh, first time in Bowman going baseball. I think someone was saying, is this true, Nick? They, they skip the second overall and they put him in Bowman Usually baseball do, yeah, and draft. Baseball. That's traditionally, yeah. They probably could have just put him in draft and had Justin Minkus. Right, yeah. I want to say draft doesn't have international prospects. Hmm. Maybe I'm wrong on that. Oh, right, they wouldn't have, like, undrafted international like prospects. Right, 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 yeah. Draft. Sometimes they do put them in other sets. The All right, so that was another box. Here's another box right here. I think the, these are these are still the hobby boxes, folks. In this pick your team mixer number one, Bowman pick your team mixer number one. The hobby pattern is not as friendly as the uh, as the jumbo box pattern. There's our autograph. It's uh, it's Lenzi Delgado for the White Sox. That's going to be for Jeremy Tillman. Stack here. These cards, yeah, these are the Bowman Scouts cards this year. I think the layoff helps Otani, maybe? Keeps that arm fresh? Maybe. Uh, Charismatic, no break schedule at the moment. When we started this break, nothing was sold out. So I don't have a schedule yet. We still have to go through orders again. I think um, Select Baseball must have sold out. 
someone said. So maybe that's going to be coming up next, the second half of that case we popped open a little bit earlier. And then we do have some mini breaks that are that need to be accomplished to knock out some more. We got 23 left uh, in a mini break that'll fill up jumbo four and five. So there'll be two jumbos back to back. We're halfway there on uh, break two or jumbo pack two, which will unlock hobby figure team one and two. So there could be four, two jumbo case and two hobby case. Go bang, 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 bang. Once those uh, once those mini breaks sell out. Uh, yeah, yeah, Jason Dominguez, his nickname is The Martian. So, I mean, he ticks a lot of boxes. He's, he's on a big market team. He's a young, up-and-coming town. He looks like he's been playing well. Did I see he's on a big market? He's on a big market team, and he has a, he has a nickname. In fact, there he is right here. Jumbo 3... Uh, we already did. Jay Cornelli, that so that, that video should be up. Yankees, Mike McCarthy, who won the Yankees in this game. Yeah, if you don't see your break on the site, that means it's probably been it's that it's been completed and it's uploading or uploaded. Ooh, and another red, that's JJ Blade. Three out of five red shimmer. Big Marlins prospect, Fred Williams, who won the Marlins in one of our jumbo packs, jumbo pack number one. Nice. Fourth overall pick in the first round in 2019. That's pretty solid. Fred, out of fives and under, get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Bobby Witt Jr., second overall pick, going to Matthew Shearer and the Royals. Next hobby box here. Darren Redding says this off, off year should be great for Otani. That's what I figured. I mean, I think, I mean, he... I think for the players, just to say in general, I think for the players who have been banged up, especially pitchers with arm issues, that extra year has got to help. Just that way, maybe Otani would have been perfectly healthy now, even if he goes now. But you know, we no need to rush. Or that's his right arm, but no need, no need to rush. Where is he left-handed? He pitches right-handed, right? Yes. He pitches. He, he bats left. Bats left. So that elbow on the other side of his body right there. So like, no need to rush it. Jason Dominguez, spanning the globe. There you have it. Yeah, I, I read that too, that his, that he is named after, uh, named after Jason Giambi. There's Bobby Wood Jr. again. Yes, for, uh, yes, once again, Jay, we did Jumbo 3. That video is up. If you don't see it on the site, ladies and gentlemen, that means we probably broke it and the video is up. No, random team. Oh, random team. Sorry. You're talking about random teams. Well, that's not even sold out. Yeah, there's 19 left. So, yeah, so whenever that sells out. Sorry. I thought you meant the pick your teams. My apologies. But yeah, obviously, if it's not sold out, we can't, can't do it.
get some wireless headphones and watch a movie while I, uh, Whoa. While I break. Whoa! Awesome. You could do that, yeah. Kyle, oh, there's the number right there. Kyle Lewis, 17 out of 50 for the M's. Okay, these are That'll be for Jordan. Two hobby, and then all of these are jumbo. These boxes. two are hobby, Four the rest is jumbo. Boxes, yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Thanks to Nick. This makes the break go probably 30, 20 or 30 minutes faster. So I appreciate that. I'll be helping Nick with some cases later tonight, too. Makes it loads easier for everyone. There's our autograph. It's another Oriole. It's Adam Hall. One out of 50 for Adam Kids in the Hall going to Chad Wright. Uh, can someone, <laughs> Fred Williams saying, nice JJ Bladé. Someone let Fred know that he is lagging behind and ask him to catch up on the video. I wonder if anyone's actually tried that, Mark. Mark saying, Mark saying, just just break it before it sells out, and then sell the teams afterwards. Could be interesting. That'd be a hell of a gamble. Could be spicy though. Think anyone's ever done that? Yeah, it kind of does. It does defeat the purpose. I don't know. It's it's a different twist if you if you think about it, Darren. What if we didn't sell the Yankees, opened up the case, and then all of a sudden, a Dominguez superfractor comes out, right? How much? Then you would just open up the bidding for the Yankees, and see who buys the Yankees. With that Jason Dominguez superfractor, that's for Mike McCarthy, and then. Uh, probably cover a lot of our cases. There's Bobby Witt Jr. chrome to 150. Be a hell of a risk on our part though. Royals, that'll be for Matthew. This guy, Darren, right? It's supposed to be pretty big. I guess it would just be like running a car show on eBay. Usai to four ninety nine. That goes to the M's. That'll be for Jordan Cohen. box. I see a little orange in this one. You see right there, a little orange? And here's the second hobby. Or the last hobby right here. And then the rest of these are jumbo. Four boxes split into st uh, stacks of eight so they don't get too tall. His name is Robert Pawson. His name is Robert Pawson. That goes to Chad Wright. Yeah, Darren's excited about those Mariners prospects. He, he snagged all of them in all the hobby cases. Yeah, we've talked about this before. I think there, the uh, couple J nice Jason Dominguez is there. I think that the Mariners have some low-key low could be really great. In a few years, I mean, if, if everything kind of, kind of, if everything comes together, of course. McCarthy, more Jason Domingue for you, including this uh, spanning the globe one.
No, no, no big Dodgers is as of yet, Jack. Unless, no, that's a Brave. That's uh, Hasil de la Cruz. Yeah, those those those, those mini boxes, those mini breaks will fill. That's Hunter Dozier. I was like, did I miss the Bobby Witt no, it's Hunter Dozier. There's a Chrome Bobby Witt Jr., Chrome Keeper Ruiz for the Dodgers. Matthew Shearer with the Royals. Well, listen, Stubblefield, we're all, again, and everybody else, we're here, here till 6 a.m., the latest, so. I'm sure we'll get those those uh, mini breaks filled because once we fill those two like two mini breaks, bang! All of a sudden, there's four cases of Bowman we're about to do. So it'll happen. That's a 75, Mike Soroka for the Braves, Michael Tran, and a Chrome Robert Pawson. Set that aside. Makes me hungry. There's the orange. It's going to be Evan White, 7 out of 25, orange paper for Jordan Cohen and the Mariners. We got Dane Dunning to 299. Bobby Wood Jr. in that old design, I think, looks really sharp. And there's Dane Dunning for the White Sox, Speckle for Jeremy Tillman. Darren says, looks like we're getting close to NHL coming back. Yes, that's true. Baseball I'm worried about now. I feel like I feel like the owners and, and players really just don't get along. So I, th I feel like that's going to be a bit of a, a bit of a struggle. Like I feel like basketball players and and ownership tend to get along a little bit better. Another uh, Bobby Witt Jr. paper going to the Royals, Matthew Shira. Is that right, Stephen Punk saying, I'm going to pull a Bobby Witt Jr. one of one in this break, Super Fractor? That'd be nice. That would make, uh, that would certainly make Matthew Shira very happy if that came true. Here's the, the last hobby case or hobby box of this mixer. Pick your team one.
I, I love these atomics right here. Wait, Darren Redding, you're up in the Pacific Northwest, right? Seattle's getting, I know it's kind of a longer break, so we can kind of go off baseball topic here. Seattle's getting a hockey team. Now, I know there's like a name the team contest happening. What, what name are you in favor of? They already named it? Are they? I think that's the XFL team. They, that, they had a great logo. I love that XFL's Dragons logo. I like see I like sock eyes too. What were the other options? There was, I think, I think the Seattle Totem was one. Um, I would I think I liked crack. Oh yeah, are they going Kraken? I thought Kraken or Sockeyes, but I thought this, I thought Sockeyes would be would be would be better, right? Oh, was it the Totems, plural? I thought it was just the Seattle Totem, like the like the, the like the Wild. Uh, totems, emeralds, rain this is what uh, ICS is saying, Orca is saying. Uh, totems, emeralds, rainiers. All right, like the mountain, I guess. Sockeyes, renegades, sea lions, seals, evergreens, whales, cougars, eagles, firebirds. Yeah. I don't know. Sockeye is great, right? It's You can fish for sockeye in, in the area, right? In local rivers. Nice. There's Ford Proctor for the rays. And sockeye, right? It's fighting and hockey, double meaning there. Obviously, I thought it was. Good. I thought sock guys was the best one. All right, that goes to Robert Throne, who has the Rays. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I don't like Kraken either. Yeah, it feels too expansion-y of a name. I think Kraken's been kind of used. I, I mean, I like the idea of a Kraken, but I think there was a movie where Liam Neeson had released the Kraken. I think there's a Kraken like rum that's out there in the world. I think it's kind of been used. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like it's been used in popular culture. Um, enough times where you're kind of like, eh, do we need another another Kraken? I say no. I say go with Sockeye. I feel like feels pretty timeless. Stephen Punk saying Super Sonic's coming back would be good for the hobby. What, the basketball team? Corbett says <laughs> Corbett says they should have gone super, just Super Sonic. I think the basketball team has the rights to that, or whoever. I think the NBA has the rights, the, reserve the rights for that. All right, so the hobby boxes are done. Now for the jumbos, which should be a tiny bit faster. We're actually making good time on this. Yeah, we are. All right, so here's half a jumbo. Another half jumbo. Another half jumbo. Jumbo. Is it all that on the screen? Yeah, it's close enough. There we go. Yeah. 
Alec Manoa to 499. Although, yeah, Cor I think Corey makes a good point. If if they if they bought, I guess if the NHL team if they bought the rights and colors of the Supersonics from the NBA, I don't know how much that would be, but probably a lot. But if they did that, can you imagine? Because hockey uniforms already look pretty sweet. You know, big, big, big ass logo right there. Ooh, that'd be nice. Jan Diaz for the Rays. That's going to be for Robert Throne. I, w I wouldn't be surprised if they're, if they had that conversation. If the, if whoever, whoever has the, the Seattle group, Starting the hockey team, whoever the ownership is, I wouldn't be surprised if they did talk to the NBA and were like, hmm? "How much would it cost?" And then NBA was like a zillion dollars. You know, we want to have that for if and when basketball ever returns to Seattle. So I'll... they probably did some sort of wacky price. Do we think basketball goes back to Seattle? Another Bobby Witt paper for Matthew and the Royals. And we've got, oh, I'm not going to, how do I pronounce his name over there? Sherton Apostle, Rangers. Adam Kupperman, who won the Rangers in that jumbo pack. Yeah, Ian, I, I want... I want baseball back as well. Yeah, I, 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 the, uh, the Pacific Northwest is really, really taken to the MLS teams. MLS. Is, is doing is doing pretty well but yeah I would love to see would love to see basketball back I'm not sure I don't know if the I don't know if the NBA should expand to 32 though I feel like 30 is a nice number for I feel that way with uh, baseball too so that that I think I think 30, 30 is, a, is is the right number for, for baseball and basketball. So that means a team would have to move. What team would move? What NBA team would move? And we got to think of, make sure that the conferences and divisions are correct too. So what NBA team would move to Seattle, rebrand as the Supersonics and go from there? Okay. All right, folks. Well, let's knock out those. Uh, let's knock out those mini breaks There's because a one pack break that tells out how you pick your team one and two at the same time. Well, that's what I was saying. If then, we do so two, if we do two one pack breaks, we got four cases, four cases happening. So it'll happen. Like but six hours of breaks right But there. let's do that sooner rather than later. So yeah, we can we can kind of gobble up some some time there. Select baseball, so. Which sport do I think comes back first? Probably basketball. Basketball or hockey. 
I mean, of the major sports, because golf is kind of coming back. NASCAR is already back. Jeremy thirty three is worried. Like I was saying earlier, I'm worried. I'm not as as worried about NBA because I think the players and the listen. Let's put it this way. I don't think the concern for the major sports because we're not going to have fans. That's just something we're going to have to accept. There's Hans Kraus. But but I think it's coming down to a money thing. You know, how players are getting paid and how much owners want to pay and how much money is being deferred and all that sort of stuff. Because everyone, the leagues are going to come back. They're already agreeing to that. I don't think they're as concerned about the 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 health issues anymore as much. So... So I think there's Aaron Ashby. Is that Andy Ashby's kid? Oh, uncle. There you go. Remember, remember Andy Ashby? So, 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 like I said earlier, I think the players in baseball and the owners, getting them back together and agreeing on how they should get paid, I think that's going to be a big struggle. I think it's going to be easier for the NHL, NBA, MLS, I think they're gonna they're gonna have an easier time um, negotiating all that. So I think it's just gonna come down to which players association has the best relationship with the league and the owners. And baseball is not it. There, there's a lot of a lot of uh, contentiousness. There's already gonna be a battle with the new CBA after uh, collective bargaining agreement after 2021 or something like that, right? In baseball, so the, the players and owners are already gearing up for a battle there. Now this happens. Here's Sam Huff to 250. Nice Sam Huff for the Rangers. Adam won that in a uh, in a team random or a mini break that is. So yeah, I think that's the challenge. Sports is going to come back, but how it's going to come back? how players are going to get paid, what kind of revenue owners are expecting. <laughs> Jack, there'll be a recap at the end of this video, but no, the answer is spoiler alert, no though. They also have to, they have to figure out the, the, but yeah, the hard part's the money. It's going to happen, but they just have to figure out the money. Because I think Florida, Florida's pretty much open for sporting type events. Um, Arizona, Texas. You know, those are those are a couple of states that can kind of handle maybe a group of teams being there, being in a central location all at once. I do like the idea of like maybe not doing the rest of the NBA regular season. There's Omar Estevez for the Dodgers to four ninety nine. There you go, nice refractor autograph. But I do kind of like the idea of scrapping the rest of the regular season for NBA, doing some sort of mini play-in tournament, right, for the, for the teams that were kind of on the bubble of getting into the playoffs in the East and the West. And then you just run the playoffs in, like, Orlando at Disney, you know, and teams will just be at different resorts, right, and their families will be at different resorts. So they'll be kind of contained there. And then they play. I think that would be a lot of fun. Bubble sports can't work because every team comes with team doctor families. Well, yeah, I mean, but it's not a it's it's a problem that money can solve. You accommodate all of them. That's you just you just have to pay for that. 
You can accommodate everybody, test everybody, monitor everybody. Otherwise, you know, otherwise we're just canceling it then. And at some point, there's just going to be the idea of what is an acceptable level of risk that, that teams and their staff want to take. There's Isaac Paredes, 250, paper. Oh, I'm mixing up my chrome and paper piles. What's the NHL doing? A proposed 24 team playoff? That's kind of wild. All right, there's Connor Cannon, Giants, Michael. That would be the second, second Cannon there. All right, Stubblefield, now you're talking. One-on-one -on -one NBA playoffs, just your best versus my best. And that just determines it. Who doesn't want to see a LeBron James versus Giannis? One-on-one -on -one for the NBA Finals. What's up, Logan? That would be must-see TV. Or three-on-three -three street tournament. Oh, yeah, I'd watch that too. Just bring them to Venice. Just bring them to Venice. Have them, have them square off. So classic, classic, uh, yeah, classic shirts and skins. Yeah, you call your own fouls. Yeah, LeBron does already anyway. So wouldn't it be that different. Cal Mitchell going to the Pirates. That'll be for JC. Boom! I think we figured it out, you guys. I think we figured out how how, how to bring the NBA back. See, I like the pattern Pattern in the jumbo boxes a lot better. There's Ezekiel Duran. I think that's another one of the bigger names. Not, maybe not as big as Jason Dominguez, but there he is. 24 out of 250 for the Yankees. That's going to be for Mike McCarthy. Another Bobby Witt Jr. paper for Matt and the Royals. All right, almost done with this stack, and we've got a, just two more jumbo boxes to go, and then we are done. Was someone saying that, that Hobby 2, Hobby Random 2 sold out? That must have sold out after the select. So we'll do that after select, by the way. Yeah, that's kind of a big news of the day that I don't think we talked about yet. Jerry Sloan passed away. Maybe Jason talked about it in the morning. But yeah, I haven't, I haven't just, yeah, that's kind of crazy. Long time coach, very successful. Pretty well, pretty respected, I want to say. Actually, what's funny is that my 
my cousin and I were watching The Last Dance together. And this was a few weeks ago, the episode a few weeks, a couple weeks ago, two, three weeks ago. And my cousin was like, and he's a big sports guy like me, and he was just like, yeah, Jerry Sloan's dead. I was like, he's not dead. We looked him up, not dead. And then all of a sudden today, passed away. And I was just like, I was like, you, you jinxed him. I blame, I blame, you can blame my cousin. That's basically what I'm getting at. It's his fault. What did he, how old was he? What did he pass away? What was the cause of death? I didn't think he was, must have been cancer or something. I don't, I don't, I don't, I didn't think of him as being old, I guess. Seventy-seven, seventy-eight. Yeah, that's oh, dementia and Parkinson's. It's a shame. We got Chris Valamont. Speckle two thirty out of two ninety-nine. That's for Jordan Cohen and the Twins. So this is uh, the 10 box mixer. Pick your team number one, ladies and gentlemen. These are the final final stacks right here. So we're almost done. Select baseball coming up after this and maybe some hobby random teams uh, as well. Full case random will be coming up soon too. And there's Con another Connor Cannon. Some color this time for the Giants to 150. Little Oppo Joe Mojo for Michael. Right, right, right. He had dementia, Parkinson, and just kind of in and out of it for the last, out of it for the last ten years. Yeah, I think, I, I think maybe my cousin and I brought this up because we were wondering why. Why I don't think Jerry Sloan was interviewed for the Last Dance, and that's when my cousin was like, "I think he passed away." And then, but that that I guess that makes sense. Jason Dominguez Chrome, which I'm sure will do fine on the secondary market. So will that Robert Possum. A's, another one for Chad Wright, and another Jason Dominguez for Mike McCarthy, who won the Yankees in 10 box mixer. Pick your team number one. Half of a jumbo, half of a hobby. We got more of these in the store, ladies and gentlemen. So if you want to go big on a half and half, have these 50s, we can definitely do it. And we've got another Ezekiel Duran for Mike McCarthy and the Yankees. I like the design this year. I, I like that there's actually a border here. I kind of, I kind of saw what they were doing with the, with the border that had cut off on the side. But there's Royce Lewis. I think this looks a lot sharper. Bossman was also mentioning that he he pointed out something that uh, that I didn't really notice. Mike was saying that last year's Bowman looked really dark, like the photography was really dark. And so this year this year's Bowman just looks a lot brighter, which I think which I think he's spot on. Right? It looks brighter this year. 
when you when you get these in the mail, ladies and gentlemen, you get hopefully we'll have stuff to send you. When you get these hits in the mail, just compare them to to last year's, and I think you'll I think you'll see the same thing. Five out of seventy five, John Diaz for the Rays. Robert Throne that yellow paper to seventy five. Chrome Bobby Wood Jr. This is our first Chrome Bobby Wood Jr. From yeah, it looks clean, right? Yeah, I think it's it's a it's a good design. I kind of like that little extra extra border pattern in the background, a step and repeat pattern like they use in Hollywood. Ooh, good eye. Rick TCB saying, Rick saying, Cardinals are the only team you notice that have two different logos on the card. Some have STL and some have the Cardinal Wait, on this part? That part or both both front and back? That's, very, that's interesting. got to be a, maybe the birds are a variation that Mendoza goes to the Nationals got Oscar Gonzalez to 499 Indians that goes to Matt Buckler there you go Matt Dustin what's up your question is can the resale market keep up with the prices for these new products I mean bone first at 750 bucks can that keep up now with when right there the bones out to make his price already going to go. well no, <laughs> I mean, it's it's like any 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 fluid market, you know. Valleys are going to go up and down depending on what's what's out. So, I mean, if you're looking to try to make a profit or something like that on stuff like this, yeah, I mean, it's just being just being sharp, you know. Knowing when to buy, when to sell, just like the stock market. Knowing what players that you want to keep or what products you want to keep for the long run, what players you want to not keep, maybe make a short-term profit, stuff like that. I mean, there's all sorts of different ways to approach it. Some people just collect for the for the for just the love of the game. That's fine, too. There's no right or wrong way to collect. But I think most people, if push comes to shove, most people would be like, yeah, I mean, let's not go, we're not going to go hard on Jason Dominguez Bowman first edition because that was just kind of a, a sampler, a little warm up to the real thing, you know? So yeah, I think push comes to shove, I think a lot of sharp collectors probably didn't go big on Jason Dominguez first edition, you know, because we're waiting for the, for the real edition, the official edition, if you will. You know, then there's the longer term. It's like, is Jason Dominguez even going to be a star? You know, star now. But is he is he worth keeping like Trout? Dustin saying, if you would have told me two two teams only two and one break would cost a total of two thousand, you'd have laughed laughed me out of the room a year. I mean, listen, we're 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 also following sort of general market. Trends too, yeah. We're pretty shocked about about some of the prices on these things too, from our end as a business. 
Yeah, it's wild. There's Damon Jones, Phillies. Phillies autograph for Matt Gomes. But I think with any of this stuff, you got to treat you got to treat it like any 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 money market, any fluid money value market, you know what I mean? Stuff's going to go up, stuff's going to go down. As a whole, things are trending up. Just keep that in mind. You know, the the, the big manufacturers are not interested in going back to the to the dark days of the 80s and 90s, you know? There's Adam Hall to 299. But just naturally markets are going to go up and down. Chad Wright with the Orioles. There's going to be some lean years. There's going to be some strong years. Not every year is going to be a Zion year, unfortunately. <laughs> but I don't know. Before the 18-19 basketball season, I don't think Luka Doncic was on too many radars. And so there's always someone that emerges that'll help buoy the hobby a little bit. There's Colton Welker to 250. Listen, if there's no Zion next year and prices normalize a little bit, whatever normal is, you know, that's that's a good thing, right? Because then it has room to go back up again. There's 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 room to to go back up and maybe even push the ceiling again again further a few years down the line. So I think there are in my my personal opinion, there's like the short term view at this and then there's a long term view at this too. Dustin saying we know the new inv oh, the new investors have no clue in the difference between first well I don't know the first thing about stock market and buying futures any of that stuff I'd be just like that noob getting into it so maybe we're getting to a point where we have to be a little bit sharper than a casual collector to really take advantage of this but I mean it's up to the it's up to the buyer I think right to know what the difference is between first edition and other editions, in my opinion. The burden of the research is on them. You can't find a, no, you can't find, that's a little frustrating, you can't find blasters for anything, I agree. At least you know they're not overproducing, <laughs> if you can't find, if you can't find stuff. So there's that, that's, there's that silver lining. I can't find a blaster box anywhere. At least they're not overproducing. That's the silver lining, right? That's a good point, Jack. Yeah, Jack Vane saying, listen, the Bowman first edition I don't think is going to be a regular thing. I think it was just like a, a special sort of, you know, COVID sort of COVID pandemic related thing because they were just like ah oh, sorry we can't sorry we had to delay Bowman for two months you know here's a little here's a little taste you know Oh, those black are they going straight to us? I'm not, I wish we got more. I wish we were able to get more. Not that much. That's true. Yeah, we we wouldn't have broken too much retail of anything. Yeah, maybe maybe there should be maybe there should be some some adjustments on how things are distributed. Maybe maybe that that's a good argument. I don't that I can't really speak to. I, I I don't really know exactly how that part of it works. But like like I'm saying, any market there's going to be ups and downs. You know, we're we're just at a fat period right here. This could e easily go down, and then we'll be wondering, oh man, I wish we had, wish break more breaks were moving. All right, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Good convo, strong break right here. That was a 10-box mixer, half hobby, half jumbo of the brand new 2020 Bowman Baseball. We slammed that together. That was Pick Your Team 1. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for more. Bye-bye.